All right, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to do a little unboxing. It's an overview of the Workos TS10 flashlight. And you see one here. Now this is the one that I actually lost briefly uh, in a moment of panic. Purchased another one. And then I actually purchased a third because they hit me with a little special edition. And that's what you see here in the package back here. We're gonna do an unboxing and talk about some specifications. And I will show you a few key features of this flashlight, which to me is one of the best values in a flashlight nerd, you know, extreme hobbyist type flashlight. So let's get into it. I purchased this from uh, AliExpress and this flashlight here was I think it was about $23.99 I want to say so here we go so here's what you get in the mail this took about two weeks I want to say to show up maybe three sometimes it takes a month it's just the way it is but it's free shipping. Hard to complain too much. So that's it. Nothing in there except this nice, I wouldn't say nice, budget friendly box. Check it out. This one is a white version and they supposedly aren't going to make any more. And I wasn't going to buy any more of these. Figure two is enough. But they got me. I was like, ooh, white would be nice. Looks real crisp. So let's see if we can get in here. Tell me this doesn't make for a great video right here. Open this up. Okay. I always use any chance I get to whip out this knife, you know? If you ever want a secret to opening a box without damaging it, this is how you do it. Take something flat, slide it in underneath the little lip here and give it a little bit of, of a shimmy, like so. Theoretically, you can just slide this open Again. There you go. That was the ticket right there. See that? That way you don't tear these little ears off and uh, mess up the box because you never know when you want to have to resell an item. It makes it a little, little more compelling to the buyer when you got a nice crisp box. Okay, here we go. Oh. One cheesy pocket clip, one Andoril 2.0 user manual. Oh, sorry, blocking the view here. This video is gonna be real good. You can see it now. And there it is. Look at that. Now I forget what they said they made this with, what kind of coating it was, but apparently they have to assemble it with white gloves due to uh, staining or whatnot. It's got a little plastic. See that there, a little protective cover over the lens. I like that. That's nice. Feels good in the hand. It's got a little grip to it. So here's what you get in the box. So a few specifications here. These are 71.5 millimeters long, 21 millimeters in diameter up here at the head. They weigh with the battery. Now I'm going to show you one that I have, the first one that I bought, which I thought was lost, and then I found it. 
And it's a black one. Now, these with the battery, and these take a 14500 lithium cell. They do not run on a standard AA, unfortunately. That's uh, one of the cons in my opinion. And they unscrew here like so. And this is the battery that I use. This is the vape cell or VAP cell, 1000 milliamp, 14500. And these ones compared to the gold are a little bit extra special with a 10 amp discharge rate. So they say on the packaging here on the wrapper. And it's kind of a flat top, maybe a button top, but it protrudes just enough. I'd call it a flat top. So originally I'd lost this light after I was so blown away with the performance for what I paid. Now I bought this particular one in August 25 of 2022. So a few months ago, and I was so happy with it when I lost it that I immediately bought another one and they raised the price about 20 bucks or so. Uh, currently, I think they are still around $20 if you go to the Workhouse website with free shipping. And uh, a couple of things about the light that I like. Now, some people I've seen complain about the Anduril user interface, you know, saying that it's too complicated. And it is a little bit intimidating. Um, now, I've got this one set up in a way that I think is good. Now, I turned off the auxiliaries unless I go into the uh, pocket protection mode, which is four clicks, and I will demonstrate that here. Okay, hold on. I'll probably put the battery in backwards. Oh, shit. Okay, battery's in backwards. Let's see if it's got reverse polarity protection. Now that would be something. It's a great demonstration for you. Ooh, I believe it does. So, lights on, lights off. Now, pocket protection mode is four clicks. Call that lockout. Now I've got this set up to run the bright auxiliary LEDs. And then if you hold the button down, it comes on in a low. Now some of them I have, if you do a double tap and hold, it'll go to a slight, slightly higher low. I don't know what this one does. Anyway, there's the auxiliaries. This one has orange. And they only run all the time when it's in this uh, lockout mode, which is four clicks. So I'm going to get out of that by doing four clicks again. And now it's on. All right there, it's off. So this one is the, uh, the 90 CRI, uh, high CRI version. It has a real nice tint. I'm going to show you that here if I can. It's probably uh, not going to show too well here with these lights. But uh, very bright for the size, uh, heats up fairly quickly. Now they do tout it has a automatic uh, overheating protection. It'll step down as it runs. And that does seem to be the case. Uh, we got, uh, with the battery, I think I said 50.78 grams. Um, I'm kind of running out of stuff to say here. Basically, I wanted to show this off, show what's in the box. Uh, 60, 61 aluminum. And I am going to put a screenshot or a picture, I should say, of the user interface up on the screen at the end here. And you can pause that if you want to, you know, see all the modes and options it has. It's a very, I always tell people online that it's as difficult and as complicated as you want or as easy as you want. Now there's a simple setting that you could turn on that makes it easy. Um, essentially you just hold the button down, ramp it up to where you want and stop and that's it. I have mine configured to always come on in a low mode. Now you can change that. I think it comes in a, with a memory mode, uh, mode memory setting from the factory and it will re recall where you left off in the ramp when you, when you uh, turn it back on the next time. The button feels nice. I like it. It's an e-switch. has a nice little, little click to it. Oh, shit. I think I inadvertently activated uh, something. 
Uh, one of the features I like about these lights, the Andrew lights, is the voltage check function. So three clicks. And that's one, two, three. So 3.9 volts, according to the, the flashlight. And I find that very useful. And again, I turned off the auxiliaries to save a little bit of battery power. <clears throat> Although on the low setting does not run the battery down too quickly. It actually, it's pretty efficient. Take another look at this. Ooh, I like that. Now that is a real nice finish and that looks good. I'm not super impressed with the, uh, the design of these, I mean, they look, they're attractive enough. Um, I, I appreciate a smooth bezel. I don't like really uh, sharp crenellations or little daggers coming off the end. I, I always prefer a smooth bezel, so I like that. I think this part's pretty attractive, these milled slots here. Um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a piece of bamboo or something, which I'm not a huge fan of bamboo. They could have did something better with the tail cap. That doesn't really do it for me. Looks like a Lego tire or something. Uh, these, the tail caps don't unscrew, at least on the ones I've had. I think they're glued on. Um, so you access the innards from unscrewing the, the head of the light. Here's a look at that. Threads are smooth enough, I'd say. A little grease will help them out. Uh, lightweight, powerful, cheap. Definitely, in the flashlights I've owned, I would say that these Orcos TS10s are one of the best values that I've seen in a, in a long time. For 20 bucks, the quality that you get, the light output, the nerd factor is real hard to beat. Now, I recently had the Lumentop FWAA, and it was a really cool light, titanium with the copper. And I ended up selling that because this one did everything that one did, minus the quality materials and feel in the hand. Now, they're pretty short, pretty stubby, so, you know, it's for a large hand, it's, I don't know, could be better if, as far as uh, usability, but it's a trade-off to have something so small, compact. Now they come with this, in my opinion, somewhat cheesy clip here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of clips like this that have to snap onto the body of the light. I prefer a nice solid clip that has uh, screws that screw in. But it does have a reversible function, which I don't know how useful this is because I don't know. Well, it seems decent. You could probably shove that onto the bill of your hat. I don't use these clips myself. Um, I just throw it in my pocket after I do the, usually do this first, make sure it doesn't kick on and burn a hole in my pocket. There it is. Workos TS10. Thanks for watching.